Hey guys, welcome to tablinfo.com and today I have an interesting topic for you that is extract versus live versus live web server. So we'll talk about different connections that you have in Tableau, when to use those connections, what are the advantages of advantages and disadvantages of using each and every connection. Before that, please note down our email alias that is support at tableauinfo.com. Our website name is www.tableauinfo.com. If you have any suggestions, there are lots of uh, material with respect to the tablet desktop qualification. You can always go over there and you can check it out. If you have any suggestion, you can always contact us by clicking on contact. Coming back to the topic. Uh, there is a simple way with the help of which we select different connections. Uh, by this time, I hope that you know how to connect to sample super store in any, any Excel sheet. Uh, you go to the data source and there are different options for you. So the first one is live, the second one is extract. So you know how to connect live to the data source or you know how to connect to, to the data source as an extract. But what about published server what about the data source which are at server level you can just go to the data source right click and you can publish to server you may get pop up like uh, this it will ask you to publish that data source to tablet server and you say yes okay i want to publish that and next time when you log in you need not to connect to uh, that very excel sheet in fact you i can just show you now you will click on new and you will say, okay, can you please help me connect to the Tableau server? You just click on Tableau server. It will give you multiple options like this. And you can select your data source that was saved as live connection at Tableau server. So these are the three different ways with the help which you connect to data source. Okay. So, okay. Now I have been, uh, I, I, I hope I have a very simple way to explain this. Uh, also, let us just talk about the different types of connection, their advantages and disadvantages and everything. So first one is Tableau Data Extract. So these are the optimized data set, especially designed for aggregation and quick system memory load and visualization. That means it is specially designed for aggregation. So if your dashboard is having different types of calculation, Wow, this would be your first choice because your aggregation calculations will perform best at Tableau Data Extract or say at extraction, extract type connection. So you would always go for that. Then why would I go for live connections? Why should I go for live connections when I'm getting so much of good performance with Tableau Data Extract? You go with live connection and in order to understand that, let us understand the thick info.com versus city bank. Would you like to go with the uh, thick info.com not having live connection, showing you statistics with respect to yesterday's match? Would you go and spend your time over there? No. Live connection is necessary. Necessary is a very small word, it's compulsory. Nobody would uh, go to this website if you just so show you know yesterday's match summary. On the other hand, Citibank, I want bank statement, last month back statement. I would go and I would download that statement from the relevant link, but that would never be live. Why would Citibank spend its time to add additional resource to get you live data over there? No. Also, it has to aggregate your amount that you have spent on xyz or whatever so that would be my first choice the extract connection and remember that extract connections uh, will be refreshed at least once a day or say at most once a day as far as tableau is concerned and if you have never uh, published you here is a server there will be an option to publish workbook and when you uh, click on publish workbook it will ask you for you know 
different types of uh, schedule you know what what you would like to have so you can publish yeah that work will be that is a simple task it will just ask you whether you want there will be different schedule schedules over there like weekly monthly you can just select whatever you want so you know how you decide so that's why if it is necessary to go with live then if you don't have any other options left you go with live connection also but the other disadvantages are like it may if your database the ultimate data base is slow so your experience will be slow only and it is not optimized as extract you don't have uh, extra utilities for aggregation now but then you'll have to make adjustment like you'll have to ramp up you'll have to increase your resources you know, cpu memory and all those things like published connection i've already shown you so the only advantage is this is not ex exactly live but you just go there and you right click and you can just publish to the server and after that uh, when you log in next time instead of connecting to that very particular access you, you just select uh, tableau server uh, as i showed you you just select tableau server and that tableau server will take you uh, to those data sources and from there you can select your data source so like this when i when i click on tableau server it will uh, show me the different options right so now we know how what are the different connections that we can use the only advantage of this type of live connection that at tableau server is by do, by publishing your data source at tableau server live you are giving an option to all the team members which are having access to that server uh, so that they can make use of the same data source when you can you make use of the same data source multiple number of times with multiple number of worksheets so that is a great advantage and the only advantage that i see otherwise it's not live because in order to have live updates you will again have to publish that data source to tableau server right but otherwise it will like it is showing that live it is not live technically it is not live so if you are uh, having a live connection Like you have a live connection here, and uh, that, and you are publishing this to Tableau Server, it will show as live, like this. So, in order to update this again, you'll have to publish this data source at Tableau Server. Now, let me give you a demo. I have an Excel sheet which is the data source for all these three worksheets. I have three different worksheets over here. You can see live connection one is for live connection one is the live connection and the other one is uh, i think i can show you one by one publish to server and the third one is the, is the extract so let us start with the uh, publish to server and you can see the difference here so when next time when you are going to connect to that very particular data source the sign will be like this We'll have a different icon so i have so initially it was blank now i have uh, provided few statistics not a statistics but i have i'm giving you light commentary over there and let us see how it is going to affect the different worksheets that i've created i have created a live published to server data source right the second one is the live connection. You can see the sign difference. Tick mark. So live. And the third one is extract. Data source extract. So as I try to give more information, as I try to do more commentary, let us see. So initially it was blank, so it was that that's why it is coming blank over there. Now I have uh, inserted three lines over there. So let us see. Now I'm saving it. Let us start with uh, the publish to 
sorry guys. So let me just go and say refresh. Uh, yeah, it will refresh. First time I refreshed, nothing came up. I am disappointed with this. Where I can get my scores? Okay, let me go to extract. You can see the see the difference in time. I go here. I say refresh. Hey. Oh, it's an extract, so I cannot refresh. It's not like, but I can refresh my extract. Remember thing that that thing. Okay, refreshing the extract will replace its content. If you have modified filters or hidden filters, you may be replacing important data. Yes, I want to proceed. Oh, now I see. Don't think about the timings and hour of the time. But yes, I am getting the data. I can see Rohit is the batsman. Virat has reached the ground. Virat has scored two runs in one delivery. Wow. So, you know, for extract, I had to extract. I had to refresh the extract. When I go to live, now if I refresh it directly, I should show, show, it should show all the information. Now, let me refresh. There you go. So you know the difference now, right? And for the third one, until and unless I replace the data source with the new one, until and unless I publish again that data source, I'm not going to get anything over there. So just don't hope here until and unless you refresh again that data source. So I think I have covered uh, all the three different connections with a small demo, with a with few lines commentary, and you know the difference between you know click and put city bang i just try to make it simpler for you uh if you have anything for me uh, you can just come and again at the end also we show you the same thing email at support at tableinfo.com and uh, one important thing if you know want to know more about tableau engine and if you want to know more about extract i have a blog over there i'll paste this link to youtube description you can come over here and you can have a uh, in-depth knowledge about the same man at the same time don't subscribe forget to subscribe the youtube channel this way okay yeah okay thank you bye bye